Many architects think design visualization is just something visualization specialists use to create that beautiful presentation at the end of the design process. So you may be surprised to find out, like more and more architects already have, that design visualization also has a lot to offer you. As an architect, designer, or engineer, you can use design visualization to your own advantage to enrich the visual context of your design at every stage of the design process, from schematics to final presentation. As part of our continuing effort at Autodesk to evolve the creative design process for architects, designers, and engineers, we offer you state-of-the-art 3D design visualization tools that give you the power to explore, validate, and convey design concepts. People are visual creatures. We see what we believe and we believe what we see. Visual feedback is key to the work that we do in a digital environment. When we can see what something will look like, how it will work, it allows us to understand it better and communicate it better. At the heart of design visualization is 3DS Max, a powerful tool for expanding the visual context of your design concepts to enable more effective design validation and visual communication. Designs developed in AutoCAD architecture and Revit architecture, industry-leading design authoring tools, link directly into 3DS Max for a seamless visualization process. Autodesk is an important partner to PB, and we rely on many of their tools for our project delivery. On the building side, we're using AutoCAD architecture and Revit architecture. On the infrastructure side, we're using AutoCAD Civil 3D. And then we use 3DS Max to bring it all together into one seamless visual environment. Design visualization supports the design process in three important ways. First, you can use it to explore design concepts. You can employ design visualization tools like 3ds Max to rapidly prototype ideas. You can change and rearrange concepts, expand and contract approaches, blue sky infinite possibilities. You can experience what these design concepts will be like before they're made real. What if you could create simple massing, stacking and blocking studies to view your design in context? Readily manipulate complex curved surfaces. Investigate freeform extruded shapes and blobby forms. Work with script-generated geometries. Rapidly prototype your ideas in a fluid exploration of creative alternatives. The second way you can use design visualization is to validate design concepts. The impact of the visualization during the process of designing is the greatest thing that's ever happened to our profession. It enables the lighting to be correct. It enables the carpeting to be organized. It enables the outsides to be organized with the landscaping, within the scene. The customers can see it immediately, and there is no hesitation on their part. They know exactly what they're going to get, and if they want it. You can use design visualization tools like 3ds Max to generate contextual studies with far greater detail and a much larger scope. Refine your design as you study how it relates to light, to material properties. Look at your design in the context of its total surroundings to see how people and all the components in the environment will interact with it. You can visualize your building information model to study what your building will look like and perform like before it's real. You can even visualize huge data sets on an unprecedented scale. Imagine looking at how your design interacts with physically accurate representations of sun, shadow, and different types of artificial lighting. Creating a site study that brings together the surrounding landscape, adjacent buildings, trees, people, and traffic. Simulating what a building will actually look like in a variety of different materials. Experiencing your stadium or theater design with a live crowd in attendance. Seeing how your office building lobby works with all manner of people milling about. This is a truly comprehensive approach to validating your design in context. But on the visual side, uh, the sophistication of the rendering and the output allows us to show exactly what they will look like and exactly how they will work. And this allows us to better predict uh, the performance of these projects and better uh, meet the expectations of the end client. Creative exploration, design validation. These design visualization functions boil down to an accessible, powerful way for you to open up your options. 3D animation is one of the most important aspects uh, to us in bidding a job. We came in with six schemes of a new style condo room. It was an immediate, yes, we can do this. The third way you can use design visualization 
is to convey design concepts. You can employ design visualization tools like 3ds Max to present your work to colleagues and clients as early in the process as you like. Here, design visualization is enriching the visual context of your design concept by helping people do more than just see it. Design visualization lets you convey how your design will be experienced, and that helps persuade as well as communicate. What if you could create the highest quality photo reel and stylistic renderings, even at your preliminary client presentations? You could transport a client on a virtual trip through your design. You could tell the story of how people will come to interact with and experience your design in three dimensions, in motion, over time. You could give the client your final design as a cinematic presentation they can use with their prospective tenants and buyer. With a more cinematic approach, you have to be a little more thoughtful about you know, where cameras go, what it makes sense for cameras to do. So we've looked a lot to film to kind of get a sense, because just because you can do anything with a camera that you want in Max doesn't mean that you should. Design visualization lets you convey design concepts in whatever way is appropriate for the stage of the design process you're in. From non-photoreal basic animations, to interactive walkthroughs, to full cinematic presentations that can be made as real as anything you see in the movies. And what do these design visualization convey functions boil down to? The more you tell, the more you sell. Five days in any project to be awarded a million square foot building was due to the visualization characteristics. Using design visualization throughout your design process, you can explore more ideas. You can put them in context so you and your clients can understand more about how each one functions. And in design reviews, you can help customers make critical decisions so you gain valuable client buy-in at every stage. The key to the power of design visualization is the way it helps you make visually informed design decisions by giving you a deeper understanding of the context of the project, experiencing your designs before they're real. To experience them means you can understand them more completely. You can feel how they work. You can uncover areas where they may not work. And you can do all this as early in the process as possible. Design visualization lets you develop more and better iterations because you have a better understanding of the pros and cons of each approach. This reduces errors and saves you time and money. The earlier you pinpoint a problem in the design process, the easier and cheaper it is to fix. Ultimately, design visualization helps you create better designs to sharpen your competitive edge. It's the most competitive thing for us. It became apparent to us in that the other guys didn't get it at all. But we were able to so clearly illustrate it that, you know, it, it's a no-brainer. Autodesk has 25 years experience with the best-in-class tools for the architecture, engineering, and construction industries. And now, the power of design visualization is accessible to explore, validate, and convey design concepts on a very large scale indeed. Design visualization, taking architecture to another level.